Oh my gosh. Nine dollars for this is ridiculous. The best ever. <laughs> Come to me. Merda. This is merda. I cannot believe that we this that we spend this much money. I think I'm gonna be sick of it. I'm disappointed. <laughs> it is incredible. Ciao ragazzi! Today we're in New York City and what are we gonna do, amore? We're gonna try foods. All the iconic New York City foods that you need to try when you're in the city. I hope you have your eating pants on, amore, because all yeah. we're doing today is walking and eating. Okay. Let's go to our first stop. Let's go! Bagels. All right, Amaria, we're at Thompson Square Bagel to try some of the famous New York City bagels. These are hand rolled and boiled, I think, and apparently the secret's in the water. To be completely honest, I hate bagels too, so <laughs> I'm a little scared, but let's go in and try it and see what it's like. I trust you. This is what New York say hey, to do. This isn't on me, okay? So, toasted or not toasted? Not toasted. Oh, non toasted. You're not supposed to toast. Oh them. my god, it's gonna be tough. Awful. Ah, thank you. It's gonna be awful. We'll see. Cheese with no pickles. Cheese with tomatoes and onions. Look at that. He got the classic, the smoked fish on an everything bagel with capers and onion stuff, whatever it is. So this is the classic fish. Yep. Oh my god! This is the best thing ever! Are you serious? They're gonna eat your bagel! <laughs> this is my house! This is the best ever! <laughs> come to me! Birds! Come to me! It's amazing! They are happy! Like me! New York! I want to do it Amore I, mio? I hate fish, Amore. You hate fish. You hate fish. <laughs> I have a fish allergy too. I'm scared. No, about this. This is salmon. Or whatever is it. Give a tiny bite. That's it. Just tiny bite. Go ahead. Dig in. Go. Mm. Amore. Oh my god. It doesn't taste like fish at all. No, because it's real fish. It's not where we live, Amore. I heard that this is also a fun option that a lot of people like. It's called, wait, French toast bagel with birthday cake cream cheese. Yeah. It's like a king cake, Amore. A king cake? What king cake? New Orleans king cake. It's like no cinnamon. Way. And cream cheese, it's like a king cake. I wanna try. You gotta try it. Approve. It's good, right? It's good. It's like a king cake. For breakfast, I was going to do my fish, but this is amazing. This is like half point low than this. Are we bagel people now? Are we bageling? I think we are New York people, more. I'm shocked. Where is the next? We'll have to see. Let's go. in New York City, Amore. Are you ready to I'm, eat a big I'm sandwich? I'm so excited. <laughs> Supposedly when you come to Cats, you have to try the pastrami on rye, so I think that's what we're gonna order, Amore. Okay. Plus some pickles. Wow, pickles. I don't, know. I don't like pickles, but let's see. <laughs> you're a sandwich guy though, so I think you're gonna like the sandwich. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. So we only got one sandwich because look how big it is. 
We got the classic pastrami on rye with mustard and pickles. It is incredible. Wow, where we live, Amore? This will bring you to tears. I feel like it's all in my teeth, but honestly, I don't care. Because <laughs> it's so good. Amore, please try one of those. Let's try this, this, one this one looks a little bit more normal to me. Really good, classic pickle. And then this green one. That one tastes more like a cucumber rather than a pickle. So I don't know. They're both really good though. Pickle. Cetriolo, yeah. If you come to New York, you have to eat this. And don't forget to bring cash for the tips, because cash tips. Okay, the sandwich was amazing and you have to try it. You have to try it with yourself. Mind like, blowing. Mind blowing. Like look at the pickles. I know pickle fan. I like the pickles. You like the pickles, but the sandwich, if you have in New York, this is a must. So cat approved. Approved. <laughs> Ciao. 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 Love this little chicken here on the road. I stopped just for this chicken. Go pose next to the chicken. All right, I'm on it. We made it to Doyer Street. Yes. This street used to be called Murder Alley for all of the gang violence and murders that happened at that little cook in the road up there. What are we doing here? Let's go check it out. All right, I'm kind of excited. Let's go. You're almost there. Look at this street, how beautiful. So this little angle in the street here, yeah. this is where all the violent things happen because it's hard to see around the corner, you know? Okay, yes. So people would stop and wait and then attack their victims. Here we are, Namwa Tea Parlor, the very first dim sum restaurant in New York City. I love that cat. So there's so many things on the menu here, so we're only going to sample a couple of things. Don't get mad at us if we don't choose your favorite, we're just trying a couple. So let's go ahead and I'm going to surprise you when they come out. I'm not going to tell you what I'm ordering. Okay. Mine has a hair in it.
a five. Not my favorite dish. Prepare yourself. It's not my favorite, um, but it's not bad for me. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. So what do you think about it? I'm disappointed, I'll be honest, because I've heard so many great things about this place and I was really excited to try it. And I'm pretty disappointed. Me too. This is the first flop for New York the first for me. flop. Number one, the hair put me off, okay? It's hard to enjoy everything after that, but I was going to give them the benefit of the doubt. It happens, you know. Stuff happens. It happens. But it's can you ruin your experience? Yeah, it just like, but it happens. It's fine. Overall, I would say the other food, though, is pretty average. Average? Just the first one. For me. For me, the second one, I mean, the first one was pretty good. The second one, I love the flavor of the pan fried dumpling. And I the love third that was flavor. Terrible. Yeah, I didn't like the, the vegetarian dumplings. But I would say average. Average, yeah. yeah. Average. Yeah. I'm ready to hit the next one and see if we can bring it back up. Let's back up. <laughs> Let's back up. Let's back up. Chinatown is amazing, huh? Beautiful. What's the feeling? I told them that it is Italian pizza right there. The first 99 cent pizza. Okay, everybody say, you think about, oh, it's cheap. It's 99 cent pizza. With 99 cents, with five dollars, you have a nice pizza in Italy. So let's so check it out. Yeah. We got our soda. 99 cents pizza. The guy was pretty rude. So just me sul cazzo. Let me see if your pizza it is really good. It's a piece of the. Shit. It's not pizza. 99, uh, 99 cents in the toilet. Shame. New York, this is your first feeling. This is consideration merda. Merda. This is merda. 99 cents. Uh, throw away. Guys. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm gonna do something for you, Amore. Tastes good, this pizza. <laughs> the pizza's in your other hand, Amore. No, are you joking? No. Yeah, this is carbo, this is better. Let's go to the next. <laughs> What is this place, Amore? This place is in honor of your French heritage, Amore. Let's go. No, Let's go. no, 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 no. This is a, a wonderful French chef who created something totally unique called the cronut. It's a donut plus a croissant. And you're gonna try it. Almost eight dollars for this. Homer Simpson could be disappointed. <laughs> Dig in. Dig in. Looks like a pumpkin flavor or something. <laughs> what do your French genetics tell you? French. You wanna know? Yeah. Comparison is like the dollar pizza. No. A piece. This shit. It's worth one dollar. Let me try it. Let me be the judge. I no. like this kind of stuff. People, people trust me because they know my. Amara, you're just trying to make everybody think that you're hundred percent Italian. No, try it. I 
me zoom your expression so you know who is the ju real judge here. Overrated. Overrated. Overrated, guys. I'm sorry. I appreciate the creativity. I'll give you that. It's creative. A donut with layered croissant flakes, but... I want to say something. So, if you're for French, uh, how are French friend first of all you, you would be offended by this you'd be offended <laughs> disappointing i had high hopes amore why you ruined my day right now why are you, it's why? not my fault i'm just going by the lists that everybody mm. says amore my happiness is start go away. i think you're gonna like the next thing i think it's gonna bring us back up jesu ayuda please i hope Let's go. If not, I go back back to the bagel. So, what's your favorite dessert in the U.S., Amore? Tiramisu. And in the US. Oh, banana puy. Yes, that's what we're gonna have next. No way. Magnolia Bakery. You ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so tell about this bakery. Okay, so. They're really known for their cupcakes and their banana pudding. Yes. But you love banana pudding, so we're gonna try the banana pudding. Yes. This is the small, $5. But hey, whatever, we're in New York. Classic version. Ooh. I'm surprised. Or let me... Yeah. It looks creamy, let's dig in and try it. Yeah, it's creamy. It's really good. It's really, really good. But? But I think mine's better. Banana pudding expert. It's good. I think it's much better than yours. <gasps> Amore! Cut! Cut! No, I'm joking. It's good. Yeah, I think this is on top of everything I eat before. Yeah, yeah. It's like, really good. Really good. Nothing. Oh my God, I need to go eat it there every day. No. I was expecting like I was going to die when I, eat it, when I ate it, and I didn't. I mean, I loved it, but I think I over, I overhyped it in my brain. We like it. We go better from the other items that we eat. For the French, no. This, we start to go high with this banana pudding. And but I don't know if it's worth the price. Honestly. It's not worth the price. You can make definitely you. And you can make an entire pan of banana pudding. Same level. For the same or better. price, yeah. I mean, Cute I don't want to walk from Times Square to here for this. Well, they have multiple locations around the city, so. I, I was an example kind of walk <laughs> for to this. I was walking for the bagels, but not for this. There we go. On to the next. Amore. In the south, they make better, huh? Clearly. Yeah. Everyone who's hyping up the banana pudding, which it is good. It's let's, good. Let's be clear, it's not bad. It's not bad. But they've never been in the south. Never been in the south. City of Mora and not try New York cheesecake. Italian cheesecake is ricotta and eggs. New York cheesecake is cream cheese. How are you? $9 for a piece of cheesecake? Are they insane? <laughs> a little bit. Let's see, maybe it's worth it, Amore. We'll try it. Let's try it. Die, try. Open it up and see what it looks like. Oh, fair enough. 
It's a baby cheesecake. Okay, they cannot figure out how baby they are. Like measure. Uh, this is the fork, the top of the fork. Guys, it it's is... about three inches long and two inches wide. If yeah. this is two inches, this is three inches, guys. Let me see if I can pick it up so they can see oh, it in definitely. my hand. Oh, definitely. My God, nine dollars. Nine dollars for this is ridiculous. It's good. It's not good. It's good. But it's not nine dollars good. It's like to be apple here. They make you this because it's so fancy to remove I the paper. I guess so, yes. It does look bigger in the camera. Oh shit. That should be buzzing. Oh wow. Oh. It's really good. I understand your pain. It is really good. It's good and it tastes really fresh like with good ingredients, but come on, you can't spend $9 for a tiny slice of cheesecake. My thing, this value, it is $6. Yeah, I do six, it's five ninety-five. Over... It's still overpriced, but. Yeah, this $9 cannot beat Kinder Paradiso. This is similar to Kinder Paradiso? Kinder Paradiso is better. No way. I think I'm gonna be sick when I. Why? I, I ate way too much. And now we try the typical hot dog in New York, Amore. All right, my first hot dog was chaotic because uh, what happened at this? The it was a girl, two girls in the front. They ordered, and then what happened at this? Uh, he got pissed because she cannot pay. It, all right. So, he told me sorry, uh, she ordered the food and she ran away. I ordered my hot dog and then I pay the food because to try to make him feel better. Yeah, because don't, we don't want him to be out of money for the food that he yeah. prepared her. So, I gonna I tried to give to her but she disappeared, tried to help both, so nothing. I'm gonna give somebody else this food. I don't know, it was $10 in total. I don't know what she ordered, but probably the guy was mad because it was $10 for him. Yeah. A little card. <laughs> Let's try the hot dog. I'm sorry for the guy. It's really good. Really? This $2 hot dog is amazing. <laughs> the dirty water you said? It's a secret. Amazing. This is amazing. It is good, huh? Yeah. That's surprisingly yeah. good. I mean, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. It's nothing amazing, but it's really good. It's better than pizza, dollar pizza. Oh my gosh. This kicks the dollar pizza out of New York yes. City. Yes. So if you want a cheap eat, the hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog is the way to go. Yes. Ready to try some? No. I think you're gonna like it. Okay. From the outside looking in, they don't want you. They don't want me. So, Mona, did you notice the name of that halal car? No. Habibi. Amore. Yeah, like our friends from Dubai taught us. Habibi and Habibi. Looks beautiful, actually. Look at that. It looks amazing. The rice, I don't like it. So spicy. Oh. It's not for me. Too spicy? Yeah. Please come to me. Oh my gosh! No. Ah. Oh my gosh! Let me try, Amore. I'm sorry. What? Maybe you got some of the red sauce? Because this isn't spicy at all. You got the red sauce and I shouldn't have I should have asked for no red sauce. No. 
I didn't know it was spicy. I actually think the falafel is really good. I'm gonna, I don't know why you don't like it. Yeah. The falafel is really good. We're approving, huh? I'm approving for a, a food cart. Yeah. I'm on it. Talk to me. I'm on it. What happened to everything in New York is amazing and What are you doing? I have the bagel. Oh my gosh. What? I'm not gonna finish the day like this, Amore. Pigeons, come to me! Mm.